Bob Lansfield here for SkyMira, and today we're going to talk about interoperability between the MSAT G2, also known as SATRAD, and the next generation terminal, the Explorer MSAT G3. Uh, during the demonstration today, in addition to interoperability, we'll also point out some of the feature differences and latency and so forth. So the first test will be from the G2 to the G3. Anybody that's used SATRAD uh, knows that you have to push the button, you have to wait for the go-ahead tone, and then you can begin speaking. Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. So now the next test will do a G3 to a G2. With the new system on the G3, there is no go-ahead tone. You can uh, press the button and begin speaking immediately. Uh, but you will notice some latency between the G3 and the G2. And again, that's uh, due to the uh, legacy system. Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. Let's talk a little bit about the differences between the MSAT G2 and the MSAT G3 in terms of hardware and features. One obvious difference is in the antenna. The MSAT G2 has a mechanical gyro stabilized antenna where the uh, Explorer MSAT G3 has an omni-class antenna, solid state, no moving parts. Both the G2 and the G3 are suitable for installation in vehicles. They both come in a go kit that you can check as luggage on an aircraft. Probably the most significant difference between the legacy system and the next generation system is the MSAT G2 is an analog based system where the uh, Explorer MSAT G3 is an IP based system and that gives us quite a bit more flexibility in what we want to do with the audio as far as making it interoperable with different types of de devices. So out in the field we could have a population of trucks, you could have a go kit, uh, there's an example there with uh, some land mobile radios connected to a go kit with a population of radios in the area there and the audio will go up over the satellite, come back down into either a uh, public or a private IP network. From there, we can uh, utilize smartphone or tablet push-to-talk applications. We can integrate it into VoIP telecom communications. We can integrate it into desktop mini consoles. And you can actually take the PTT gateway portion of the MSAT G3, connect that to a LAN, and utilize that on the network and all your uh, talk groups as well. And then, of course, we can integrate it into uh, standard dispatch consoles. Some of the feature differences between the two systems. Uh, one uh, very big one is multi-bearer redundancy. The Explorer MSAT G3 supports satellite, LTE, 5G, FirstNet uh, communications. Uh, as I mentioned, you can also connect it into a LAN or Wi-Fi. And you can configure the terminals to automatically fail over in a prioritized uh, manner that you uh, uh, configure. And of course, the MSAT G2 being uh, an analog system, that capability is not available. GPS tracking, uh, the MSAT G3 will transmit a GPS report once every minute, where the MSAT G2 only transmits a GPS report whenever the push to talk button is pressed. Land mobile radio crossband, uh, you can do that with a cable and a patch switch uh, on the MSAT G3, where the MSAT G2 requires an additional device to be installed. Talk group management is handled by the customer on the MSAT G3, where on the legacy system, you need to contact a service provider uh, to manage your talk groups. Encryption, uh, the MSAT G3 has end-to-end -end, uh, 256 encryption. And again, with the analog system on the G2, encryption is not available. To finish our demonstration today, we're going to do a G2 to G2 communication and then a G3 to G3 communication. Uh, just to highlight again the differences between the old legacy system and uh, how much faster the new system is. 
Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. And we'll wait for the channel to clear so we can reply. Skymira test, 54321. So again, between G2s, once the audio is enabled, the latency isn't too bad, but again, you're waiting for go-ahead tones to have your communication back and forth. Now, uh, with the G3 to G3, again, we can just push the button and start talking. Very similar experience to a land mobile radio communication. Skymira test, one, two, three, four, five. 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 Skymira test, five, four, three, two, one. 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 So we've highlighted all the differences between the two systems. Interoperability is definitely here and transition plans can be implemented. If you have any questions, please give us a call or visit our website.